I watched my parents' work ethic, and my sister and I both are products of that. We watched them work hard, we watched them give back. And it's those two attributes when combined with that strong sense of family and love that gave me the foundation to volunteer at the White House and take notes on the tablet next to me and offer for extra help and make copies and do the sometimes menial tasks, which were not menial to me at all. I am by no means near the top of my ladder, but I started my climb back in Plymouth, Wisconsin, watching my parents help others without even thinking they'd get something in return, and then starting and growing a small business into a successful venture today. So just as my dad turned his passion into his profession, I've been able to turn my passion on partnerships and networking into my profession by communicating through large keynotes, small meetings, and terrific events. Hearing me speak on stages around the world, not many people would think I ever had a speech impediment, but I did. At three years old already, I wasn't developing my language sounds and skills as I really should have. Then I worked with those incredible therapists for four years and worked a lot with my family at home every night, just saying the names of objects like lemon and as basic as fire truck. And because of that, I overcame that impediment. So when someone makes a crack about me being the most likely never to stop talking in high school and being still true today, I tell them absolutely. Because once I learned how to talk, I never wanted to stop.